Welcome BTG Moto viewers to another video. This is gonna be a really short video because I have just 20 minutes with this. A brand new GSX-S GX. Ooh, it's nice. And I'm not just saying that because it's in British Racing Green. This is a bike I've been wanting to ride ever since I saw it in the magazines. And I'm quite excited to ride it now. And I want to find out, is this like all the best things of a GSX-R1000 combined with a GS1250 because we've got the Skyhook style self-leveling suspension. We've got, you know, a thousand hertz, allegedly, a thousand hertz compression and rebound adjustment on the damping. Um, and then you've got that all wrapped up with a K5 motor. So I've not got much time to spare. Let's just hit the road. I don't like the clocks. The clocks look like they stole a, they stole a screen off like a 10 year old PlayStation, but never mind. Okay. Let's get on this and get it back to the dealer as soon as we can whilst answering some fundamentally very important questions like is this worth 17 and a half thousand euros? Because that's... that I believe is the price. We do have, as you may have noticed as I bump it off of that kerb, we do have a bit more suspension height than a GSX-1000 GT. Welcome to my second camera. Look at me, check it out, two cameras. Not my helmet, but I've made one of Yancy's helmets into a filming helmet with a hot glue gun. Oh wow. Dude, that is a, that is a windy bike. Once again, if I just get out the screen, it's normal wind look. But if I'm stuck down here, I'm getting hit by the turbulent stuff. Ah, never mind. It does have an adjustable screen, but you do need tools to, to adjust it. And I'm not going to do that in my 20 minutes. Oh, this is where I've got to turn left already. Wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm following the route that the dealer gave me because he said I could ride it. 20 minutes and I could follow this route. Now, first things first, uh, let's talk about riding position because boy, this is a great riding position. It's like a supermoto crossed with a GSX R1000. And I say GSX R1000 because my knees are fairly bent. I've got a good, good bend in my knees. I'm kind of crouched almost. The saddle's fairly big, but up here, look at this, it's all elbows. It's all elbows, like a motocross bike. I, I can ride a bike like this, personally, I could ride a bike like this all day. No dramas. Whether everybody would ride a bike like this all day, I mean, if you're used to sports bikes and, you know, stuff like VFRs and Sprint STs, then this is no big deal. It's no big deal. This is pretty, eh? Oh, I saw some cherry blossom. I saw some cherry blossom. We're turning. I've got to take a photo with a cherry blossom. I just want, I just want, you know, a Suzuki Japanese bike with some cherry blossom. Is it too much to ask? It's quite dark skies. Forget the pink of the cherry to pop against the dark sky with a nice bike in the picture. That would be really cool. In Vinkle. Stick it in the Vinkle. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. That's beautiful. Man, I hope this dealer's not going to be pissed at me. I think I've spent my first 20 minutes just doing photos. And that brings me to another topic, which I got into with a friend of mine and that is he described this bike to me as boring and I said what do you mean boring he says oh it's not got the character of an S1000XR and I found that interesting because he's ridden both but I thought to myself what is character what is character why has this bike got less character than an S1000XR? You see, I think 
that this is a great value bike because you've got all the tricks and all these amazing things that you get on a 20 grand bike for a lot less than 20 grand. Oh, look at this, isn't it pretty? Oh, dude, that motor. That motor. Isn't that something? Oh, the quick shifter is, she's like carving a sharp hot knife through half melted butter. There's nothing metallic, there's no, I can't give you any cliches about rifle bolts or anything like that, because you just touch it and it goes in. Oh, wow. This is a bumpiest chuff road, this is. And it's amazing. It's a bumpy wet road. Dunlop Road Smarts on this, by the way, which is a good tyre. Oh, wow. So, could I ride one of these all day? Definitely. It's such a smooth engine as well, like the S1000XR. I test rode an S1000XR, the previous, the very first version and the previous version. I've not tested the new one that's out this year, but it's all much of a muchness. And uh, what I appreciated in the S1000 XR was the performance and the technology. This has got the performance. For the public road, this has got the performance, that's for sure. It's definitely got the technology because this suspension is making a terrible rural German road into a racetrack. Gosh, this thing is lovely. Six kilometers. I told you it was going to be a short video, didn't I? My first impressions are that this bike warrants further investigation. GoPro stuff. Look at that. Freaking GoPro. I'll set it going again. No, no, it's completely goosed. I love it. I really, what things that I really like about this bike is I love the hand protection and the big motocross bars. My back is really happy with this. Uh, and yet my feet are out of the way on the corners my GS I would constantly be hitting my feet on the ground cable clutch Ew, it's a cable clutch Ew. must be a really cheap bike oh no I'm back in I'm almost back at the dealer man he gave me like a what did he give me here like a six kilometer loop I'll take six kilometers with a brand new bike over zero kilometers dreaming of riding a brand new bike because this is made by day i love the response i love the steering this is a wicked bike i mean you could do anything with this apart from off-road i mean let's be clear it's 150 millimeters of travel it's 17 inch wheels with street tires it is not an off-roader it's just got a, an adequate amount of suspension i mean should we do something dumb look we'll just hit this curb and then we'll just yeah it's pretty good <laughs> i've done potholes worse than that in belgium trust me it's got it's got some some give to it in this mode there's so many acronyms and so many different settings I just left it in auto on the suspension and put it in B for the throttle response in deference to the fact that it is indeed raining. Oh, it's very, very nice. It's, it's a funny saddle because it's quite big and it's, it's definitely firm. It definitely makes me think that this is a saddle for all day, not just for 20 minutes. 
it's got that initial give which says I'm comfortable followed by a, a, a firmness that you think okay it's, it, your arse bones aren't going to be sitting on the plastic after 20 minutes it's going to feel okay <sighs> first impressions it's exactly what I wanted it to be which is a GSX-R1000 K5 with a bit more protection and some big motocross bars and you can fit the luggage and you've got all this you've got all the gear I mean that is really nice you should ride this you should ride this yeah, yeah. but it might be an expensive ride yeah. it's really something yeah. it's like a GSX-R1000 crossed with a supermoto I love it if I hadn't just bought the Aprilia Touareg I'd be I'd be jumping up to this it, it's great for the tours really something that's smoother it's got similar tech like the suspension the suspension on this I would I would say is better than the first two S thousands I've ridden more comfortable the, the screen needed to be higher for me but I can see you just got to do that with bolts I don't know if the if the headlights are any good we couldn't ride it at night but man I'd love to have a bike like this for a week or two it's a heck of a thing it's really good if you would imagine for a moment a GSX-R1000 with supermoto handlebars boom that's what you got with magic floaty suspension with the ability to fit factory luggage straight into the subframe quick shifter ABS corner uh, corner cornering ABS I should say traction control the whole nine yards I'm um, right good this I've had a little think about it it's really it's like a it's like a GSX-R1000 K7 from here to here this bit is GSX-R1000 then this bit is like R1250 GS and then this bit is like a KTM 690 but not just any KTM 690, it's like being 18 years old with a KTM 690 and your girlfriend's on the other side of the street and she's watching you, so you're just going to do a wheelie. It's a very, very fun, aggressive, very exciting motorcycle to ride. But at the same time, it's also really sensible. So I kind of like it and I think I'm going to sum this up very, very simply. If I was to buy this, it would do everything that I do with a motorbike all year round. I could replace nearly every motorcycle I've got with this, just this. Because you could do a cheeky track day every now and again, do some tourist and farting, no problem. You could take it all the way to the south of Spain in one go. You can put it in the van and you can go around mountain roads in the Alps. You, you can do anything with that bike. So it's just a really, really good all rounder. And people who get hung up on saying things like it's not got the character of Ducati, well, the screen's a little bit cheap. The handguards are just here for optics. And that's really about the level of my criticism. I hope that the headlights work because I hate shit headlights. I hate buying brand new bikes and then having shit headlights. Mega thing. If you're thinking of buying one, go get a test ride because you might be even more pleasantly surprised than you were expecting to be.